Hi, welcome to Flash with a Non-Geek. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create an animated mask. And let me click on one of these color icons here. I'll click on the color red, and then you'll see the car go from black to red. It's a really cool effect, real easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. I can't show you the whole thing because it would just take too much time, but I have the whole lesson on my website, nongeekbooks.com. Click on the Flash Tutorials button and you'll get the whole lesson. Also, if you want the files that go along with this lesson, they're at the same place, nongeekbooks.com, Flash Tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the library. And the first thing I want to do is I want to put our Let's put our uh, red car on the stage. Okay. And I'm going to name this layer Red Car. And we'll create a new layer. And we're going to drag over. Before we do that, we need to align this picture perfectly on the left side of the stage. So it's got to be flush with the left side of the stage. So we'll click on the Align panel. We'll select the red car. We'll hit Align left side and vertical center and there we go so now we'll click on the new layer we created we'll name it black car we'll go to our library panel and we'll drag over the black car and the same thing with this image we're going to align it to the left side of the stage vertical center so now it's directly over the top of our red car so if you were to turn out the black car eyeball, you can see it's directly over it. Now we're going to create one more layer here. We're going to name it Mask. And now we're going to grab the Rectangle tool. We're going to turn off the stroke color. Make sure that's off. And we're going to select the color. It doesn't matter what color. I'm going to select red. And after I do it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out to 25%. And I'm going to create a rectangle that covers the whole car. And after I do this, I want to click on the free transform tool. And you'll see this little uh, box that surrounds your shape now. Grab one of the corners. And if you look, let me zoom in so you can see this. When your cursor goes over one of the corners, you'll see it. the icon changes to like a little circle. And when it does, you can actually rotate the shape. So let me zoom back out. I'm going to rotate it like this. Kind of, so it should look like this when you're done. So that's pretty nice. Now we're going to go to frame 50. And we're going to insert frame for all three layers. So now all three layers have 50 frames. Next, create a keyframe on frame 50 of the mask layer. Right click and go to insert keyframe. Right click on any frame between the two keyframes on the mask layer and go to create motion tween. On Flash CS4 it would be classic tween. Now click on frame 50 and drag this mask shape so it's right below the car. So it no longer covers the car. So here's what the animation does. And if we were to right click on the mask layer and select mask, you can now play your timeline. And now, now you can see the transition from the black car to the red car. It's pretty nice. But now we don't want this to happen right away. We want the user to be able to click a button and then it happens. So we're going to create one more layer. We're going to name it actions. And in the actions frame, what we're going to do is put a stop code in there. So we're going to open up our actions panel and click on script assist right here. And on the left side, you'll see global functions. Click it once. Click on timeline control and double click stop. Next, create a keyframe on frame 50 of the actions layer. And once again, double click stop. So now those are two stop codes in our timeline. Now, 
this animation won't start until the person clicks the button. So next we're going to create a button real quick. And I'm just going to make a little button here. I'm going to highlight this shape. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I created a rectangle shape. Doesn't matter what color. Next I'll go to modify, convert to symbol, click on button and name it button. So now it's a button. Now we're going to quickly add our code. And our code is going to tell the animation to start playing. So open up your actions panel and make sure your button is selected. And all you have to do is double click on play. It's under global functions and timeline control. Double click play. And that's it. Now we're going to test our movie. Control test movie. Click our button. Voila. Now if you want to add a little like a uh, little light that kind of follows the transition. Uh, let me do that real quick. Let me go to Window Library and I have a little light thing here. Let me make a new layer and call it Light. And I'm going to drag it over. And you can kind of see it there. It's just a little uh, white gradient. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this light follow the animation. So what we want to do is unlock the mask layer and after you unlock it click on the outline button and now you should be able to see the outline of the shape. I'm going to click on my light and click on free transform tool turn it so it's directly over the right side of the mask. Create a keyframe on frame 50 of the light layer. Insert keyframe. Click on any frame between the two keyframes and go to create motion tween. On frame 50, we want to drag our light down. So once again, it's on the right edge of the mask. Now we go to control, test move. Now you have this little light that kind of follows the transition. It's really nice. Now if you want to learn how to do a whole color palette and everything else, then you can go to my website, nongeekbooks.com. have the full tu tutorial there. Also all the files are on the website. And uh, so that's it. I hope you learned some, and uh, I'll see you later.